Hello and welcome to the Power of Charms interview series. We uh, we love to interview interesting women doing interesting things that do good in the world. And today we have um, two lovely ladies. We have Jeannie Williams and Sean Gear from Akarama. And uh, many people might not have heard of this, but it's a national organization. And these two gals are with the Phoenix chapter. And um, I'm going to ask Sean, she's the president of the foundation. Sean, tell us what Akarama is. Okay. Well, okay. First of all, thank you for having us. I appreciate that. And as stated, I'm Sean Gear. I'm the president of the local um, sorority chapter of Delta Beta Omega, um, which is a chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Within that, we have, and they handle the operations side of it. And then we have our foundation side, which is the Phoenix Akarama Foundation. The Phoenix Akarama Foundation is an organization that has been created, created over 50 years ago. And the purpose of that organization is so we can raise funds so we can give to our community. Some of the things that we've given in the past is every year we give scholarships. Um, we have initiatives that are derived from our um, organization. And then on the uh, foundation side, we try to fund so we can execute those. The CHIP program um, is one of our new initiatives that we have. And that program is a program that provides food for uh, the less fortunate, if you will, um, children um, that may have a meal during the week at school, but maybe they don't have one on the weekend. So we as an organization, um, we get the funding that we use, we can provide food for them, put them in a bag and they have something for the weekend for them. And then they have their daily or regular routine when they come back to school. Some other programs that we've done um, is Adopt a Street. Um, we've just done that locally and we're really excited about that. Really nice turnout. Um, and every quarter we go out and we clean a, a mile stretch of a street um, in, within the city of Tempe. Another program that we have um, or some things that we do is Project Cure. Project Cure, if people are not familiar with Project Cure, is an organization and they have items that may be that are not uh, discontinued, but things that are not expired, but things that maybe a hospital is not using or a medical facility is not using anymore. They package those and they send them to whatever the requested country is that needs those particular items. So we've done that um, on several occasions before, and we get joy out of that, knowing that we're helping in a small way to help a larger part of the community um, outside of the state of Arizona. A uh, couple of other programs we have, I know, uh, is the computer program. Um, we provide our programs to not only support the youth um, in our CHIP program, in our Young Leaders Initiative for our students between the ages of 10 and 14, um, but also for uh, a computer camp for those individuals. And that goes as low as kinder, um, all the way up to high school for the students. Um, we know STEM. Uh, STEM, uh, STEM program and STEAM program is really mm -hmm. important. So they're teaching them robotics, they're teaching them how to code, um, which is really important um, for the future for them, for the students, and for our future that we have as well. So those are some of the things that we do, and that's why we raise funds with the Phoenix Akarama Foundation to support our community. Yeah, you're doing such diverse things. It's really great to see the impact that you're creating. And it is a private organization, correct? It is. It is. Uh -huh. If you're a member of the uh, sorority or chapter locally, mm -hmm. then you're automatically a member. Um, and that's the only way you can become a member. From within. Okay. Well, I know that you've told us a few things. You, you also um, are going to be a part of Giving Tuesday. Which which is very, very impactful. And you do lots of lots of interesting fundraising things, but let's really talk about what's coming up, which is very exciting. It's the Fashion at a Fashion Show. It's on December 2nd. And Jeannie, you are chairing this. Can you give us the lowdown on what's going to happen at this great event that everyone can attend, by the way? Yes. Yeah, so the Fashionetta is an annual event uh, that happens on the first Saturday in the month of December, mm -hmm. and it's been going on in the Phoenix community for over 50 years. 50 years, wow. 50 years, yes. And raising money for these programs that Sean talked about a little bit before. We have this year, as the committee got together, this is our first year back in person since 2019. We came up with a theme, Back With Brilliance, and we really went out on a limb 
to try and figure out how many people would actually show up. So we asked the hotel, how many people will fit in a room with a 110 foot long runway? Uh -huh. And uh, they told us 106 tables. And so we've got 1,060 seats in this room. And the best part, Kay, we almost completely sold out the very first weekend tickets went on sale. That is that is so amazing. I work with so many organizations and, and, and your event is a month away and you're almost sold out. Fantastic. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So um, we we're proud of the sponsors that we have in place because uh, we couldn't have done this without a lot of the sponsors uh, in the community that sponsor sometimes every year. Uh, the first one is the Adair Foundation, and they own the Adair Foundation owns a number of McDonald's restaurants in uh, Gilbert and in the mm -hmm. East Valley in Chandler and Ahwatukee. And we have first place tutoring who does tutoring for children, comfort keepers, uh, greater Phoenix urban league, the board members are put together a table, uh, integrity roofing, which is in the East Valley, but they go all over the Valley repairing roofs mahogany Zan, which is a communications group here in Phoenix uh, Mitricos group they're a group of people that just relocated back to the valley and they mm -hmm. do decorating amongst other things then there's modern acupuncture out in mesa tez adams state farm insurance agency and tony and florence franklin and we have a few table sponsors as well edmund and gloria baker as well as the gentles organization or the gentles agency i'm sorry they're a uh, a creative agency so anyway. oh, well thank you for sharing that we all know that sponsors are so integral to making an event successful and um in addition to sponsors i was very impressed at how you have the have the um event put together you have a professional fashion company putting on your your show tell us a little bit about that Yes, so we actually, for every Fashionetta, we patterned this after Ebony Fashion Fair. And some of your audience may know of Ebony Magazine, but mm -hmm. Ebony Magazine used to have a fashion show, Ebony Fashion Fair, that would travel around the country in the 60s and 70s. And this Fashionetta started as a hat show and then branched off to include now a full-blown fashion show. Mm -hmm. um, oh, gosh, I just blanked on the name uh mario b productions thank yeah, you yeah. <laughs> mario b productions is going to, to be the fashion uh production company that is coming in town they're out of california they're bringing models and they're bringing clothes with some of the latest um and upcoming designers as well as some that the community is well um very familiar with and they're going to be uh doing the uh first in-person fashion show during our COVID period, we used a different company called One Strut, and they're also out of California. But we're happy to have Mario back with us. He was with us in 2019, just before everything shut down in 2020. So it's oh, good to be back. Well, it's going to be so great to be back in person. There's just there's just nothing like it. We all we all love Zoom and virtual, but there's just nothing like it. And let's talk now a little bit about what brought us together, um, because. You have a private women's organization that raises funds and, and creates scholarships. And I have a private label jewelry company that supports women's organizations and charities. And Jeannie and I um, uh, met because she had a charm from another women's organization, uh, Brophy, and that was years ago. So she contacted me and we got together. And I love working with my clients um, especially the ones that are creative and have themes and you have such a wonderful theme that goes around the fashion show. What, what was your theme last year? And, and if you can show them the bracelet and charm that we created for you. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So we worked with uh, Randy good creative of uh, good creative. I'll get closer. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and um, a sterling silver charm and a freshwater pro bracelet. Uh -huh. Yes. And on the front is the head of the doll, which is the doll is a logo that we use on all of our Fashionetta um, advertisements. And then on the back of it, we put um, our theme, which was the power of pearls and Fashionetta and the year 2022. So this was exciting to be able to come and work on this project again with you, um, mm -hmm. Kay, and actually make these available for our members. 
Well, we, we're so excited to be a part of it, and I'm sure it's going to be a really successful event. There are many ways that people can participate. So they can buy a ticket and attend, but they better hurry because you're almost sold out. Um, then you have an online uh, raffle and silent auction. Is that correct? Yes, we have an online auction that's actually going on now. It's run by Pacific Auction Company, and okay. there's trips and jewelry and uh, paintings and artwork, different sculptures, commemorative artwork signed by um, some sports sports uh, people very familiar to those in the valley. And um, it's run by Pacific Auction Company. And if you can you can bid or you can if you just have to have it, you can go on and buy it right away. And then um, the uh, Pacific Auction Company, when the auction closes on December second at noon. They will then announce the winners and send the items directly to the to the winner. And that's wonderful because it it's virtual, so that you don't have to be in Phoenix to participate. So mm -hmm. you can go on and and donate. You also have a donation button that's available if you can't attend the event. That's also on there, and we will include all of this information at the end of this segment um, on our on our blog and on our website. So anybody that wants to find out more information about Akarama and or attend or support the event, um, which we hope you will, um, it's all there for you. So what haven't we covered that everyone needs to know? What haven't we covered? We know about your organization, which I don't think a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. um, we know the event is on December 2nd and it is a breakfast and it is at the Desert Marriott Ridge, right? Yes. Um, and Sean, you were gonna say something. I'm sorry, I cut you off. I was off. gonna say if, if you use the information provided and you want a ticket because our tickets are limited for seating at this point, mm -hmm. but you still have that heart, that desire to help others outside of yourself, um, make sure you push that button to participate in our silent auction. I think you have maybe a sponsor table. Yeah, there, we, we have a sponsor, sponsor table. Sponsor table like, reach left. out to um, Jeannie, our chairperson. Um, she can give you information on that sponsor table or you just want to donate to a good cause. Um, please do. We'll, and yeah, and remember the date. It's always the first Saturday, Saturday in December. Tickets usually go on sale in September. And mark it on your calendar for 2024 if you're not able to join us this year. I love it. I love it. Well, we are so excited that we got to learn about you. I've loved working with you. I'm looking forward to the event. And again, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And, um, thank you. Yes, and, and great to learn about Akarama. We um, we wish you much, much success this December 2nd. And thanks thanks for being with us today. Thank okay, you for thank you. Okay, okay bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.